all you are watching Simulant tutorial and today we are going to see the parallel states so earlier we saw parent and child states so if you don't know what are parent and child states watch the video at the link given in the description below so what are parallel states so at any particular level of state chart a state can be exclusive or parallel so when I say exclusive what it means is that only one state at that level is active at any given time and when I say parallel every state at that level is active provided that the parent state is active so if you look at this state diagram from appearance point of view parallel states appear with dashed border line and exclusive states appear with solid border line so you cannot transition to or from parallel state directly a parallel state activates when its parent becomes active so when we say parallel it doesn't mean all parallel states execute concurrently the parallel term is used to indicate multiple state active at a time but not that multiple state execute at the same time so parallel states execute sequentially based on their execution order and the execution order is shown on the upper right corner of the state so to create parallel states you have to right click on the parent state or in the empty space outside those states click on decomposition and select and in bracket parallel if you select or you can see the appearance of state dit and action state is changed that is they have solid border line so I want them to be parallel states so decomposition and so they look as parallel states with dashed border line and with execution order 1 and 2 if you want to change execution order right click on the state execution order and I want this first state to be of order 2 so you can see the execution order of the states is changed the state date is 2 and action is 1 so that is how we change the execution order well I want it to be as it was before so control Z okay save my model one level up so let's see what this model does so there is this trigger signal which will trigger this chart okay and this is data that is the input to this chart okay uh, I'll show you how to add trigger to chart okay so double click on the chart go to model explorer okay chart and you have to select event okay so this event will act as trigger when we modify its aspects okay so I want it to be input okay then this trigger type I want it at either age apply so that is how we add trigger so I already have one trigger so I'll delete this input event okay so now we know how to add trigger or event to chart we have data input and let's see how this state diagram works so by default it enters state determination state so first the state determination parallel state will execute and then the action state now keep in mind that both the states will be active at a time but they will execute in order of one and then two that is state determination will be executed first then action state will be executed 
So the state determination, what it does is it determines the mode and based on that mode, we take some action in this action state. So in state determination, there are two states that is on count and off count. Okay, so what on count does is at entry action, I will be initialized to one. So I is variable for keeping the count and mode will be one. And in its during action, I will be incremented. And when I is greater than or equal to eight, we switch to off count. And in off count, again, I is initialized to one and mode is changed to zero. And in its during action, I is incremented. And when I reaches to Two, that is when I is greater than or equal to 2 we switch back to on state okay so that is how we determine the mode and based on that mode we take action in this action state so in on state entry action output is equal to data so whatever input is coming to this chart will be the final output and in its during action again same that is output is equal to the data that is incoming data. So when mode is equal to zero that is we are in off state. We switch to off state and at that time entry and during output is zero. So for off state output will be zero for on state output will be whatever the input is coming. And when we are in off state when mode is changed to one so when mode is equal to one we switch to on state so when parallel states all the parallel states at that level are active at a time but execute in its execution order and when they are exclusive state only one state at that level is active so in this case either on or off will be active at a time so I'll just save the changes and let's simulate this model. For this model, the solver is discrete and fixed step and the step size is 0.5 seconds and total execution time is 10 seconds. Okay, so let's look at the graph. So you can see here the input is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and this trigger signal is continuously 0, 1, 0, 1. So at either edge it triggers the chart. So at rising edge the input is 2, mode is 1 and hence the output is 2. Then as long as the mode is 1, the output will be equal to data input. And when the mode is 0, output is 0. So this chart is working fine. So what are the advantages of using parallel states? Okay, so you can combine independent state machines into single diagram. So here this one state diagram determines the mode the other one takes care of the action and the second advantage is that you can enable more intuitive leader follower implementation using execution order so you should know what execution order you want so first i want to determine this mode and then i want to take this action so this is leader follower implementation then provide clear separation of logical components that is one component is for determination of mode the other component is for taking the action so these are the advantages of using parallel states so what we learned today is that we can use parallel states for separation of logical components all parallel states at one level are active at a time but they execute one at a time that is with the execution order they do not execute concurrently 
and for exclusive states only one state active at a time at each level so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning